Hi, this is Will from Orchid Farm Tech. If you've got larger batches of cattle coming onto the holding, say you're a flying dairy herd or you're a larger beef finisher, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make use of the barcode on the cattle passport. This will allow you to use a barcode scanner to get all the animal identity data into the program quickly and accurately. You can then report the movement, the on movement, to the BCMS and add a medicine treatment if the animals are uh, treated as they come onto the holding, all within a few mouse clicks. So I'm going to scroll first of all down to the herd management section of the Orchid Farm Wizard system and I'm going to go to the BCMS interface and go to scan passports. So first of all I just set up the options so it's an on movement, the cattle coming onto the holding. I'm going to select the the source market. If I want to put in any uh, internal um, farm batch number I can do so uh, and also a haulage cost here. There's the date of the movement so I'll leave it on today's date and now I'm going to position the cursor by clicking in this text box. This is going to allow me to start scanning the passports. So here's a cattle uh, passport. You can see that at the top there's a barcode which uh, that just contains the animal's identity number. If we look down to the bottom here we've got a, a longer barcode and this contains not only the animal identity number but also its sex, date of birth and breed. So I've got my barcode scanner rigged up. It's just it's simply a matter of plugging into the USB port on the PC and once you've done that you'll see there's the, the laser light beam. Now it's just simply a matter of holding the scanner the right distance from the cattle passport and just pressing the button to scan the data into the system. So that's emitted a beep which, made, which means that uh, it's read the barcode. And if we look back here we can see now that the data string has been entered in. So the system will actually process this into all the uh, the correct details. So I'm now just going to scan a few more passports just to show you how easy it is and quick it is to get through uh, a batch. Okay, so we've done a whole bunch of uh, passports there. So uh, all that remains is to confirm the details, so the movement date, which is important. And now I'm going to tick the box at the bottom here, which is basically telling the system that you want to notify the on movement to the CTS system. So I'm now going to click record movement. So all the animal records have been entered into your Orchid Farm Wizard account here. So you can produce your herd register, your movement book report for any purpose at any time. And if we now just go back to the BCMS interface, you can see that all the animal identities that we've scanned in are all lined up here in the outbox, so to speak, ready to be notified. And if your system is configured for auto notify, that means that they will be sent through auto straight away to the BCMS on the next day. Uh, if there are any errors it will report back to you uh, so you can take remedial action uh, but otherwise each, uh, each batch and each animal record within the batch uh, will come back with a, a receipt number telling you that everything has been accepted by the, the BCMS. Okay so having got our animals onto the system I'm now just going to show you one more task which is to go to the batch manager and this allows me to perform uh, or carry out a, a, an action or, or record an event against uh, a group of animals. So basically I'm going to type in today's date into the herd join or the movement on date and I'm going to click filter. So now it's found all the animals that we've just scanned onto the system, those which came onto the holding today. So now we can go down to batch vet 
the system will load up the, the treatment screen. So here's just confirmation of all the animals that have been selected. So we can now take the medicines that we need and again the medicine stock cupboard is showing us how much there is left in stock. So we allocate our dosage amount. So that's in mils and I can now complete the rest of the information. So who administered the treatment, the treatment reason, confirm the date that was administered. The system is aware from the medicine stock that uh, of the expiry date and also the meat withdrawal period. We can now add some notes if we want to but now I'm just going to click on add entry. The system will ask me to confirm that it's uh, to be recorded on today's date. Click OK and the job's done. So basically that's added animals onto the system through passport scanning. We've notified the on movement to the BCMS and we've recorded a medicine treatment all within just a few minutes. If you want any further details on uh, passport scanning and barcode readers give ORCID a call today on 01536 44 Thank you.